Hi everyone. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to check if a number is Armstrong number or not in C program. So let's get started. So before that, let me explain you what is an Armstrong number. So just consider a number 153. All right. So Armstrong number is a number if we cube each digit of that number and find the sum, it should return the number itself again. So let me explain you that. So first thing is we need to find the cube of each digit of the number. So one cube is one, five cube is 125 and three cube is 27. And if we add these three, we will be getting 153 again, which is the number itself. So this is what basically called as Armstrong number. The sum of cubes of each digit in a number should be equal to the number itself. So that is called as an Armstrong number. So let me just now re exactly replicate this in our code. All right. So here we'll be having few steps. The first step is we need to extract the last digit because we need to find the cube of individual digits of a number. So first is extracting the last digits and second is finding the cube cube and sum. So we need to find the cube and sum. And finally, we need to have a if condition and check if this number is equal to the existing number. So this is going to be the three steps. So let's begin. So currently I'm having here a super simple code of getting a number as an input from the user. So for extracting the last digit, we'll be using a while loop. So it's going to be while. And here we will be having the condition as number greater than zero, All right? So we will be like breaking down the number itself. And the terminating condition is going to be if our number becomes zero, we will break this while loop. So the first step is extracting the last digit. So I'll just have a variable for that. So it's going to be int l be the last digit of that. So just come here l equal to number modulus of 10. So for extracting the last digit from a number, we will be using the modulus operator. And by extracting, I mean just accessing the last digit, the number will still remain same. For example, 123 modulus of 10 will give us the remainder, which is the last digit three over here. But the number still remains the same. We are just accessing the last digit over here. So this is the first step. Second step is going to be we need to find the cube and sum. All right. So for having sum, let's just have another variable and initialize this to zero. So it avoids a garbage value stored and doesn't throw any error. We need to initialize this to zero. So it's going to be sum equal to sum plus we need to find the cube of each digit. So it's going to be last digit asterisk last digit asterisk last digit. So three times that's basically cube, right? So we need to multiply that number twice. So this is that sum step. And final thing is we need to also find the sum for other digits also, right? So once we're done finding the cube of this number, we need to go to the second number. Once you're done with this number, we need to go to the first number. So this is going to be the procedure. Okay. So for that, what we will do is in the first iteration, after finding the cube of the last digit, we will just take this last digit from the number itself. We will just remove the last digit of the number. So 153 will become 15 in the second iteration. And after finding the cube of last digit of this number 15, we will just remove five and our number will be one and we will find the cube of one. And after that, we will remove this number also. And our number will be zero at the end. And this while loop will terminate. Okay. So now the step is we need to remove the last digit of a number. So for doing that, we will be using number equal to number slash 10. So this is the difference between modulus and slash slash gives us the quotient. So for example, 123, the same example slash 10 will give us 12. This is the quotient because 120 is divisible by 10. And by this way of getting quotient, we are removing the last digit from the number. And after that, we are assigning that quotient to the number itself. So n, which was 123 earlier, after this step, it becomes 12. So now imagine we are having a number as 12. 12 slash 10 will give the quotient as 1. And if we assign that to number n itself, our number 12 becomes one, which means that we have removed the last digit over here. So this is the way how we can remove the last digit. 
so now we are good so if i just now go and print the sum like this sum equal to yeah it's print f and let me just now run this enter a number let me go with 120 this time just for checking if this is working fine so 1 cube is 1 and 2 cube is 8 so we need to get the output as 9 so here you can see i'm getting the sum as 9 so this is working fine so final thing is we need to have a if condition but the issue is that after this step our number basically becomes zero it will be 153 first 115 and 1 and after that our number will become zero and that's the reason why this while loop breaks so for that what we can do is we just need to have a temporary variable so let int tem be our temporary variable and we are just going to store our number there so it's going to be temp equal to n so by this way we will be like get giving the value of n to temp and even after this processes our temp will still have the number so we don't need to worry about our number now because we are just having a backup variable there so now we can just have a if condition if temp equal to the sum we can just print it as a am strong number and if else it's going to be not am strong number so this is going to be the condition if this number temp is the number equal to the sum that we have found out by cubing and summing the individual digits is equal means it's going to be Armstrong number else it's not going to be an Armstrong number that's the code guys and let me just now run it so enter a number I will go with 153 which is an Armstrong number run it again I'll go with 370 which is also an Armstrong number yeah and I'll just go with a random number now enter number I will go with 123 not Armstrong number so this is working fine and I hope you would have found this video useful do check the playlist of my channel I've done a lot of videos in C, C++, Java, Python, MongoDB, MySQL queries and CRUD operations and AI videos check them out subscribe me thanks for watching